is where the magic happens. Three, two, one, action. Uh, three, two, one, action. Uh. <laughs> okay. What's up, everybody? I'm here with Troy Cruz, mm. and we are at Edge Cycle right now. Yep. He is a fitness trainer. Here, I'm a spin instructor here at Edge Cycle. Uh, I've been teaching here for almost two years now, and I've uh, been a spin instructor for about like two and a half years altogether. Been a fitness like trainer all around for about like three, three and a half years. I've taught hit, boxing, uh, spin, TRX classes, booty classes. BOSU classes, band classes, oh. whatever it is. I feel like I can do it all, or I'm at least gonna do my best to do it all. Ah, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's been my journey for the last like three years, just been rocking it, riding this wave. Cool, yeah. so what got you into fitness? Uh, to be honest, it was, cause I just wanna get a free gym membership. Like I first like started out like working at Crunch, just being like a front desk and everything, just to get like a free gym membership. And then was doing that for a while. Um, I was like working at part time as a server too, so I was doing both those jobs. And then finally, like I stopped that and just started working at the gym. And uh, my manager, my fitness manager, one day was like, "Hey man, you want to teach an app class?" I was like, "Really? Like I get I can get paid to do apps with them?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "It's just a thirty minute class. You want to do it?" And I was like, "All right, let's try." It. Literally, only had one person show up to my class, but it was a dope mistake. Like I literally like just did. No, it was I was happy about the one. It's better yeah, than yeah, zero. It's better than said. zero. Yeah. I think someone showed it. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, it was dope. I literally like was like doing ads with her, like brought her through like the workout and everything, and literally made it was like twenty bucks at the time in thirty minutes. And like in my head, that like just clicked. I was like, bro, I just made twenty bucks. Normally, you get paid at the time. It's like twelve fifty for an hour. An hour. Yeah. And I was like, I just made twenty bucks within thirty minutes. Really? Some people don't make twenty dollars. See, and that's like what's crazy too. Like what like blew my mind about it. I was like, dude, if I did this for a whole hour, it's like I made 40 bucks right there. And then that's like just clicked in my head. I was like, can I start like making this like a career? Like if I could just solely do this, like yeah. to where if I teach like say like three classes a day, I can make like 150 bucks or something like that within yeah. a day. I'm like, that's three hours of work, 150 bucks. That sometimes like I used to have to do like a full eight hours to try to get. Yeah. yeah so once like that clicked with me, and it, honestly it was just it was just fun. Like I literally got a workout in, like I got paid to work out. So I was yeah. like, this is fucking cool too. And then like, as I started going with this, I started leading all these people and learning from them. I was like, this is really fucking dope. Like I want to continue doing this. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. When it comes to training, what's your philosophy for your class? To like set up a class and everything? Yeah. Uh, to be straight up, my goal is to always like fuck you guys up in the best way possible. Like I okay. want you to, like I'm serious. And I'm saying that in the most positive way. I want you like when you get done leaving my class, whether it's spin or like a hit class or anything, I want you to leave it to where it's like you almost have to crawl out. To where it's like you don't have to work out for the rest of the day. I'm serious. To where it's like, uh, dude, like I'm sore. Because a lot of times like you go to class and it's like you just get a good, good sweat. Yeah, like that's always been my goal is just to where like you get your money's worth out of this. Because yeah. sometimes like studios can be really expensive. I'm empathetic towards that. So I was like, all right, if you guys are showing up for me, I'm going to show up for you. Like I'm going to put my time into making this a good ass workout. Yeah, that's always been my goal is to just really fuck you guys up. Of course, of course. I see your stories and you have a lot of people tag you because yeah. you're like, <laughs> well, I know that's always like a like a pound on the back like my legs can't walk today or like my arms feel like noodles I'm like you're welcome <laughs> yeah I see yeah follow him on Instagram Troy Cruz four Troy Z's, Cruz. <laughs> yeah, four Z's. So what separates you from the rest like how is your teaching different teaching style different uh, but now you get a popcorn. I see. I yeah. don't know. I've never been. But <laughs> she still like, has to come. She still it has looks to come. Pop and having so much fun. Yeah. Um, I'll say what like separates me from everybody. And it's hard to say that because like every person here, and I'm not just like saying this and say it, like every person has their own type of vibe. Like, yeah. like Janaea, she's the type of girl to where it's like, you're gonna get your soul touched. Like she's such a good, I'm sorry, she's such a good speaker to where it's like, people will walk out crying, like as if they just left like a therapy session. Yeah, and you get like a girl, good workout on top of it. Janaea? Yeah, Janaea, she's the owner of Edge Cycle too. Oh, yeah, Janaea okay. said, if you ever come, she's over here, you gotta come take her class. Like I'd rather you come take her class than mine. Okay. Cause she literally Janaea. holds it the fuck down, yeah. Um, but I would say for me, like, I've always been kind of known as, like, the hype man. Just having, like, just, like, big energy and everything like that. Um, so I would say that kind of separates me from everybody else on the team is that I just have my own, just my own flavor and my own type of energy of how, like, I do class and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's take both of you. Mm-hmm. Most okay. definitely. Most All definitely. Right. That sounds good. Big booker. These <laughs> things are huge. She got, like, questions on questions. <laughs> No, I like it. You're prepared. I like it. <laughs> 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 <laughs
how do you keep your clients motivated and engaged with you um, during your class? Another goal of mine is always make like a group fitness class because sometimes there'll be, I mean, obviously we're operating at like minimum capacity, but normally we'll have like 45 people in here. Mm -hmm. And my goal is, yeah, yeah, we can, like, obviously the bikes are all like close together and everything. Yeah. But yeah, we can definitely fill up a lot of people in this room. Yeah, um, like it. yeah so my goal is always like, if, like, in the group fitness class, like, is to make it feel like a personal training session. So like a lot of times like I'll hop off the bike and I'll go right up to your bike if it's like we're on like a sprint or I can see you're tired or your arms are like during like weight series or like starting to die. Like I'll go over to you and like try to motivate you or try to push you like no don't drop the weights or like just keep pushing, keep pushing. Yeah. No, like, so, mm -hmm. I got you guys. I got you guys. Yeah. I will definitely get in your personal space and be like let's go. Let's are go. You Come on. Be like a drill you better hurry up. It's, it's in a really good way. Sometimes, like, I'm like, definitely, I will say, like, I'm like, I don't want to say I'm screaming at you, but it's like, I'm motivating you very loudly to very keep loudly. pushing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. What characteristics do you think you need in order to do this job? Because, you know, not a lot of people can be an instructor and like, yeah. keep everyone motivated nah, for how long? 45 minutes. Yeah. yeah, sometimes an hour, sometimes yeah, an hour. Yeah, a long time yeah. to keep everybody motivated mm -hmm. for the whole time. Yeah, and like to keep like the energy, like that's yeah. the thing too, like with this job, or like as a spin instructor is like building your playlist and building your energy and having it kind of like ups and then lows, but how to make like the lows fucking lit and then the ups, it's like all like a build up and everything. So that's why you do your classes? Like you Basically, yeah, like I'll start out, I mean, some, it depends on the vibe. Like if it's like a morning class, then like people are still waking up. So I'll start with kind of like a, just a chill song and then build up on that, build up on that. And then we really get it like popping after that. So I try to like preheat the oven before we get to cooking. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but if it's like a nighttime class, like sometimes people are awake. That's always that's like in the beginning <laughs> class, I'll be like, oh, how we feeling, Edge? And then sometimes like, huh? Or sometimes I'll be like, woo! Like I'm like, oh shit, all right. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like I'll start like the first songs where we're just like popping, going straight into it. But um, I'm sorry, what's the question again? What was the characteristics? Yeah, like what characteristics? I would say you got to be very personable and be very just open to everybody. You got to understand that these people are coming here for whether it's your class or they're just coming to get a workout. Like a lot of times they got a lot of shit going in the outside world. So when they come in here, it's kind of like an escape. So you got to have that understanding and really just bring it for them. Like really just give it everything you got for the next 45 minutes for these people. Because a lot of times like they pay for these classes, they pay to get away from whatever it is or they come here to like better themselves in whether it's fitness or whatever the reason is, like you gotta deliver for that. So they say like those two are definitely like big things. And just bring in the energy, because if you're just like, all right guys, let's do this, one, two, one, two type They're shit. Exactly, you know, for real, no, for real, people are like, what is this, this shit is whack. But so you gotta just like bring like energy, like I don't care if you have like a bad day or whatnot, like you just gotta throw that to the side and just bring it. Exactly, <laughs> especially as an instructor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you enjoy best about this job right now? Ooh, that's a tough one. I know. That's, it really is a tough one because like there's so many like pluses to it. I'd say like I really don't think like personally is that it's hard to call it a job because I'm literally getting paid to work out. Like I literally come in here to like ride on the bike to bust a sweat with you guys and everything or lead you guys to the class. So it's like, and that was like one of my goals too is like when I was uh, like first started working in the gym, I was like, man, it'd be really dope to like get paid to work out. Like when I see like my friends that are competing in like physique competitions, they get like sponsors, they're like paying them to like do all this stuff. I'm like, dude, that'd be fucking dope if I could like get paid to work out. was planted a long time ago. A long time ago, yeah. Now it's blossomed into a beautiful ass jungle. Not just little garden, uh -uh, I want a jungle full of life and tigers and lions and all that shit. I like it. Yeah. Work like part-time hours, but be able to make full-time money at the same time. And it's just like, the, it, it's a huge plus. Cause then I have so much freedom to do other things that I want to do. And I love doing a bunch of different things. So I, I like to have that freedom for that. Yeah. And then like the third, I would say it's just like the people. Like the energy that comes from stuff. Like I've met so many cool clients, people, members, other instructors just from this job and like just the like networking from it, meeting, making connections from them. Like I met some really good people that are like my homies now. So it's like I kick with them often. And I just have like really good interactions from people. They're like, dude, that playlist or what you said in class like really resonated for me or from this and that. Like just like I would say just the community and like that culture that comes out of being like a fitness instructor. I might be like the boat, you know, like I'm the captain of the boat leading it and everything, but like the people are the water. 
Like, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to stay afloat or anything if we don't have the people with us. So that's why it's like the people are such wow. like it is. I'm serious. Like the, the community is such like a a huge aspect to it. It's true, baby. Think about it. Like if they don't so come true. in, it's like we can't keep this place open or anything like it's that. It's so true. That yeah. was such a great move. So we oh yeah, ages. oh yeah. Your workouts work for all ages. I would like to say so, yeah. Like I, I look at it as like I like I'll meet you where you're at, you know. Like we'll and we'll build up from there. Like I've had little kids. Like I taught an outdoor workout on Thursday at Rebel, and there's this little kid named Adrian. Like he was probably like eight years old or something but he was like yeah doing the bicep curls with us i was like hell yeah adrian like get it dude to where it's like there's another lady that like i didn't, I didn't ask her age because you know it's, you're not supposed to ask girl age but it's like she could she was definitely probably in like her high 60s or something and she was killing it too like just like say and then everybody in between that you will. I plan on being that like nine year old where I got like an eight pack and I'm still just like outrunning all these kids. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I 100% am going to be that person. You were to sit on a bike and just go like how long? Could you go for it? Like how long would you go for? Like three hours. Three hours. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
showed him like how of our class, how I did everything. He's like, dude, you already got it. Like, I don't really need like to adjust anything else. And I was like, all right, well, cool, man. Like, thanks for this opportunity. How to see did you know him? Uh, through Crunch. So through yeah, through Crunch. Crunch, yeah. So he would come down to our location and like check up like the managers and everything. And I would just like chop it up and like talk with him. Um, but yeah, so I was like leaving and it was like right at like five o'clock. So it was like traffic was like insane. He's like, why don't you just take this dude's uh, apps class and that way you can miss the traffic and like you can talk to him and stuff like that. I was like, all right, cool. Took this guy named Andrew's class. Fucking killed me. We did like a thousand reps of abs, just like nonstop, and he was just like high energy, just going at it, dude. My abs were so fucking sore. Like I did not want to laugh. Like it was like, <laughs> where well, like it hurts. Yeah, <laughs> but, I've um, been there. Yeah. It does not feel it's a good. It's but, a. It's a love hate relationship. Yeah, it's yeah. a love hate. Like, <laughs> all right, I put in work. Yep. That's my eternity. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. But um, yeah. After class, I like just talked to him. I was just like, hey man, like. How have you made this a career? Like, what have you been able to do? He's like, oh, I've been able to travel to Germany and all this stuff. And that's where like the seed first got planted in my head. Like, I just made a really good connection with them. And then like he called me up like two months later and he's like, hey dude, you wanna come to Dubai? I was like, oh, what? Dubai? I'm like, never thought about Dubai or anything like that before. And he's like, yeah, man, like, they'll pay for your living, you get paid out there, your flight's paid for. Like, it was just like, it was literally just like a dream. I was like, so really, I don't have to pay for anything other than like leisure stuff. He's like, yeah, they like, they got you covered and all this stuff. I was like, all right, bet, like, let's do it. And then, yeah, we got to go out to Dubai and like, it was for uh, six months. And it was just honestly one of the dopest, like most positive, like, and growing experiences too, because I didn't know anybody out there. Like when I got to go out there, like I got to really just be like on a clean slate and just really make a name for myself. And like I met so many people out there. It's a good, like just growing experience, like like career wise and just personal wise. That's awesome. Yeah, that was really good. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I'm glad you have the awareness of the opportunities around. Yeah, because they always come. Yeah. yeah. Well, you gotta like, and that's thing for like people like, oh, don't why are you taking advantage of this? Like, you should take like, if it presents. I mean, obviously, I feel like you should take advantage of it in like a righteous way. Yeah. You shouldn't just like finesse it and like take it and not be grateful for it or anything like that. But it's like, I did my best to just be, you know, genuine about everything that I was doing out there, and just like so many other things came out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. What do you do when you feel extremely unmotivated? What is that question? <laughs> I want to know. Um, I'm just so energized. To be honest, oh, like, I, I do a lot of self motivating talk to myself. Or I'll listen to like a podcast like David Goggin. When I was like 20, 21, 22, I was really trying to get myself going and going and going. I listened to a lot of uh, Les Brown. Um, Ooh. Dude, he's such Les good Brown. shit. Les Brown's dope. He's some good so shit. So dope. Yeah. Like, I love one of those things like, if you hit rock bottom or like if you hit rock bottom, you land on your back because if yeah. you can look up, you can get, get up. up. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, bro. I know. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. 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 No, he's dope. I, I like him and like Tony Robbins one. was a big one and yeah. David Goggins. And so like when I like lazy, like all kind of like go to them or like motivational stuff on like YouTube or really like all just my old fitness pictures. Like Bob was like, bro, I've been eating like last three weeks, just been eating too much food. I don't got my six, six pack anymore. I'll go back to like, my previous physical state, I'm like, dang man, like I miss that, like I miss that feeling of how it felt, like how strong I felt, I'm like, all right, dude, we gotta get it back. And so really it's just putting myself out there, like saying like, all right, Michelle, we're gonna be about 5 p.m. today. It's like, all right, putting that out there versus like, I'm gonna try to do that. It's yeah. like, no, it's like, I'm gonna tell you like, look, we're meeting at 5 p.m. So it's like, I have to, like I committed, you know, it's where yeah, it's like, it's a commitment thing. yeah, definitely. And so it's like, I don't want, like I said, like, I don't want to waste your time to have you show up like, oh, hey, I can't come through. And then like that misses that opportunity and everything. Yeah. But it's really just like, it's putting, your thoughtful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's like, I mean, I have, like, I'm not perfect. I have flaked before and everything like that. But it's like, it's part of it. Like you learn from that shit though. It's like, and I feel like everybody has, you know, backed out of something or no, yeah, like no, played sure. out of something. You learn from that shit. Like I said, if you're aware of like yeah. how you felt from that, how you made that person feel from that, it's like, yeah. okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore. And it's like, really, I learned so like the hardest part about getting yourself out of that lazy mindset or whatever is just like getting yourself to the spot. Because honestly, the hardest part about working out is just getting yourself there. I feel like that's so true. It is, because like you'll be sitting on the couch and like you're comfortable, you're warm, you're cuddled up, you just, you know, you're just chilling and whatnot. And it's like that little voice is like, oh, I only got 45 minutes left of this before I have to go. And it's like, but I can just reschedule for tomorrow. Like, you know, it's like, it's okay if I just sit here. It's like, I'll wake up early tomorrow to go do it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you, all these other little factors, like yeah. all this other noise starts coming into you to where it's like, it stops you. But to me, like, 
I just learned like when that stuff starts to come in my head, that's when I'm like, nah, fuck you. Uh uh-uh. uh. Now we gotta do it. Now like I gotta go to it because my myself was like I need was that. talking me not to do it. It happens I like need that. really like the hardest part about getting yourself to really just anywhere to do anything is just Getting to, up. Yeah, getting up and doing don't it. Don't even yeah. think about it mm-hmm. and just push yourself. And really it's just changing your environment. Like if you're sitting on the couch, like I've had times where like I'll be just like super just down or I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck this man, like I don't want to do anything. But as soon as like I'm like, okay, let me just step outside and okay, get some fresh air, yeah. sit down on some grass. Like I'm like, okay, like I'm, I'm out of that little funk. Like I yeah. realized it was just like being in that little, yeah. that comfy couch or whatever. Yeah, so I literally just take 10 steps outside and now I'm like, all right, now like I got, sh- I feel like I'm shaking it off. Now it's like, okay, now let me go and do whatever I need to do. But yeah, that's really just a lot of like, just self-talk just to me that I've been doing for so long. It's like, yeah, I feel like it's kind of like delusional too, where it's just like, bro, you have the potential to be this. You have the potential to have this life and everything. And it's like, the only person stopping you is you, you know? Yeah. It like, starts with it starts you. With you. <laughs> it starts with you. It really does. Like it starts and like, just developing your own like mental toughness mental toughness and your own trust with yourself yeah. knowing that like no I said I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna do it and then creating the discipline yes. to doing it and everything yes. like one of the I forgot who said it or whatnot but it's so true though like it says um, easy choices equals a hard life hard choices equals an yeah. easy life and it's so true like it's easy to just cancel yes. the class it's easy yes. not to show up it's easy not to do this stuff but then it's like you have to deal with that like downness but, you have to yeah. deal with that like anxiety or like depression or sadness or whatever to where it's like oh, i didn't do it. like the guilt but it's like the hard choice like no i'm doing this when you feel like the urges that like yeah. want to hold you back and pull you back but the moment you make that hard choice or whatever that hard choice was for you mm-hmm. that's when it's like oh i feel better and it gets like I don't say it gets easier, but it gets better. You like for, you want to do it more. Right? Yeah, most definitely, because like you like you feel like you overcome that. Yeah. Like you really overcame yourself to yeah. get to a better self for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that was a great answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my last question: mm-hmm. What advice would you give to anyone who's pursuing a career in? I would just say just have fun with it like honestly like because that's like the biggest thing like when it comes to this stuff it's like just having fun like people enjoy seeing that you're enjoying this like yeah. I thoroughly enjoy being on the bike being in front of everybody listen to music like working out or anything like I thoroughly enjoy that and like I just have fun with it and I would say just have fun with it and understand that like these people are coming here for you you know, like, I don't care, like, I've had bad days, horrible days and everything like that, but the moment I come in this room, like, I put all that to the side, show up for these people because they showed up for me, and then once I leave class, like, all the other stuff, like, that bad noise, whatever, it's, it's just gone. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if, like, they're showing up for you, so you got to show up. So, like, that's literally, like, my thing that, like, I wanted, like, a new thing that, like, I told myself, was, like, these people are showing up for me, so i got to show up. Like, i got to give them 110% of me because yeah. that's only going to, the one that's gonna get them come back and it's like what they deserve like they're coming here for me it's like this is my work this is my work ethic this is my you know my thing it's like if you're gonna come into here i want to give you experience where you're gonna walk away like even if you never come back i want you to walk away with experience like dude that was fucking insane like i never thought like spin or this shit could be so much fun and i could get a good workout and then like when you start going with it like you start seeing your body change and everything like i want to be able to plant that seed to where it's like you grow it into something else. Like yeah. I don't want to give you such an amazing experience. So I would say, yeah, just have just have fun with it. Cause when you don't, that shit shows and that shit projects out to everyone to where they're not really gonna have fun with it. Oh my god, yeah. that's so true. Mm-hmm. Like it is. boring teachers. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. You just cannot- have fun with it and just make it fun. And like they showed up for you, so you gotta show out. Like you gotta give it. I don't, once again, I don't care what type of day you had. I don't care how bad it was. Like you just gotta show out. Sacrifice that those feelings for forty five minutes. You can embrace them afterwards. You can deal with them afterwards. But these people showed up for you because they got a lot of other shit that they've been dealing out with. They could, yeah. like, honestly, one of the dopest things. And this is why, like, I thoroughly mean, like, they showed up. So you gotta show out. It's like one time, this girl, and this is honestly like one of, like my most like priceless moments ever is like yeah it. it was like it was a 7 a.m class i was teaching at orange theory and um like i was just doing my thing like those was my last class of the day i taught my morning classes and i was just like i was just knew the workouts like i was just doing my thing 
And like once I left class, or everybody was like leaving, I was like giving high fives, like oh good job today, all that stuff. And this girl, um, this old, like, I don't say this girl, she was a, she's like probably a mom or something. But like she came up to me and she's like, she's like I just want to let you know, like she was very kind of like soft spoken. She's like I just want to let you know, like my brother passed away a week ago, and like I haven't felt okay with myself since then. But today was the first time that I felt good because of you because of like your energy and everything. And I was just like, like I wish I was like a crier cause that moment like hit my heart, you know? Like it hit, I was just like, no way. And that's like, and that's just like, sh like told, showed me, I was like, dude, I, now I like, You're I really, like people yeah, it's just like, hard. but not even like intentionally doing it, but like I showed up, like I'm giving them everything that I got, like all my energy, I don't care if my voice is gone, like I'm giving it to them because they need that. Like I never knew that girl's brother passed away or anything like that. I don't know what those, the members, the clients, the people are going through out there, but like when they come in, they come in here for a reason, whether it's to work out, whether it's for therapy, whether it's for a sweat, well, like whatever the reason is, is like, you just gotta show up for them because they're showing up for you. Mm -hmm. And like, if I would've just like, oh, I'm gonna give this class half ass, like that girl might never felt good. You know, maybe like, what if that, like her first time feeling good out of that week, now creates momentum to where like now she's gonna start feeling better. Now she's gonna start being able to you know process it a whole lot better. You know like yeah. I don't know if that actually happened. I was like I, that's just my hope out of it. Though. I was like if I was able to make her feel good for the slightest second, that's a beautiful second that I was yeah. able to do from something like that. Came from you. Yeah, and like it's something like I wasn't even like trying to do or anything. I was just giving all the people my everything. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so have fun with it and just give it your all. Have fun with it. They show up for you, so you gotta show up. That's it. That. That's it. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, yeah, Joy, for being here. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, guys, and make sure to check her out all the other videos and everything like that. Check him out. Come through. J Street. Hey. Ed Cycle <laughs> and Rebel. 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 Yeah. Over in uh, PB. PB Outdoor. Mm -hmm. Outdoors, and we got indoors too. Whatever okay, things you guys need, if you guys are into Pilates, I know Pilates people, if you're into yoga, I know yoga Hit people. Up. Like, I got you guys. Whatever Hit your fix up. is, I got you. That's it. I'll put his link. That's it. <laughs> IG and everything. Right here. Where this thing is, right here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Right. Peace.